A blessed Tuesday, dear friends. This is Sister Laura from the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, Very truly I tell you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. The pattern of kenosis or self-emptying is already written in nature as Jesus shows through the grain of wheat. All over nature, new and abundant life emerges out of some self-sacrifice. But this chaotic pattern attains its highest expression in us human beings, who are the only ones capable of assuming it freely and consciously in order to serve God's purposes. Life is evolving toward final fulfillment. To actively take part in it, we must cease holding on to our private little lives with our petty ego concerns and agendas and begin thinking of the bigger, trans-earthly life where we all in interconnected and a complex wave of relationships. It is at the service of this trans-earthly life that Jesus now welcomes the arrival of his hour, his death by crucifixion, which paradoxically coincides with his moment of glory and the fulfillment of his earthly mission. By wholeheartedly embracing the canonic pattern Jesus showed us that diminishment, loss, and destruction, which we so fear and avoid, are doorways to full life in God. Lord Jesus, we embrace the canonic pattern, trusting in your promise that where you are, we, your servants, we also be. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all 
and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline family year of the Word of God from November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021, with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yeah.